guys. It is December 13th, uh, 2018. It's 525. Loaded up. I'm gonna go pick up Colby and Traeger and meet my dad and Kenny at Byron's house and go chase lions today. Here we go. Pressure. about 10 30 got a few old tracks and uh, a couple of fresh ones that were smaller cats but we just finally cut a, what looks like a good track we're gonna go get the dogs and see if they'll take it right up there Fingers crossed. Who's the dark one, Byron? Huh? Who's the dark one? Yeah. They're treed right there. Serious? Yep. We got a cat in a tree right up the hill. Okay, you never shot it. That was that was a bad deal. <coughs> Mort fell down. Had a hold of the dog on the leash and fell down. It was a little red grass. Right it's like a good cat. Looks like that's what I say. Dude. It looks like a big old pumpkin that like just bought. Yeah. Let's go see him. Got a scar on his eye. You're in trouble. <laughs> okay, it's about 11:30. Dog has got the cat tree. We're maybe four or five hundred yards away. It was cool. The dogs got hot on the track. Didn't even take them an hour. Watched them line out. They started coming down to the road, and we drove down, and we actually saw the lion run up the tree, and we can see it up in the pine. Hard to tell exactly what it is. Looks like a good cat. So, go take a look. What are we gonna go do? Get we can't go get a mountain lion. All right. We made it. Oh, <laughs> 
走啊reflect back on this incredible experience, two words keep resonating within me, respect and gratitude. Respect for such an elusive apex predator, which I was so fortunate to be able to hunt and harvest. Respect for the hounds and their drive and ability to track and tree this giant tom. And gratitude. I am extremely grateful for Byron and the time and effort that he put into making a dream of mine a reality. And to my dad, Kenny, Colby, and Traeger, I can't thank you guys enough for being there. The memories made on that mountain are ones that we will remember and cherish forever.